I don't understand it. I'm very confused. Did I get a dud? Did something happen along the manufacturing line or something? I don't get it. Hi there, wig friends and wig lovers out there. I am Nikki and welcome back to my channel. I am feeling much better, but my voice is still hoarse, so I do apologize. I hope I won't be too annoying to all of you, but I'm doing the best that I can here. But I did want to get this wig review out to you ASAP because she's a brand new drop. I mean, obviously, it's her on my head right here. I have less to say about her. I always do. I want you to know all of the important deets. I try not to leave out any of those important facts. But if you think I did, let me know down in the comments. But I also want you to go in the comments and tell me your respectful thoughts. Also, you can let me know if there is a wig you'd like me to review since I do take requests. But as far as being subscribed to this channel, if you haven't done so yet, I mean, come on, now is the time. Join the party, click the subscribe button, click the little button, and if you have already subscribed, thank you so very much, I greatly do appreciate it. All right, so like I said, we are reviewing this week here. Um, she dropped maybe a little over a week ago, cause you know, you gotta wait for shipping. Um, but um, make sure you watch all the way through because I'm gonna tell you a lot of stuff. So we're gonna start off though by showing you what I am wearing for my eyeshadow look today. I am wearing the Jamrock palette. It's the Refresh Pastel palette actually from Plain in Makeup with, by Yolando. And check this out. This is the pastel palette, I'm telling you. I'm in love with it. Um, I am also wearing a uh, purple base from P. Louise. Okay, this wig. You know I'm gonna show you the inside cap construction. You know I'm gonna show you the stock card. Who I'm talking about is Butta Unit 32 from Butta Lace, sensational. Uh, she is an HD lace front. I have her in the color Chunky Highlight Blonde. Um, they do show the colors that she is available in on the back here. You know, she's normally available in those balayage colors, flamboyage colors. Um, and then on the inside, they show you what the difference between regular lace and the butter lace is and tell you a little bit about it. But her features include, she blends with most skin tones. She has a five inch deep hand tight parting area. She is pre-plucked with baby hair and has a natural density hairline. She is heat safe, uh, 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I picked her up from Elevate Styles for $35.88. So I fell in love with her the second I saw the picture. I went to Sensational's website just to see what's coming out. And I was like, yes, I need this wig. But we must address the elephant in the room. The color. What happened? Why is she so dark? I have gotten this color before uh, with the Dashley unit. I think it was 24. Yes, I believe it was Dashley unit 24. I love the color so much. That's why I wanted to pick it up again. But this is not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting this color, but with the blonde highlights rather than the 27, just like last time. But this is much darker. I don't understand it. I'm very confused. Did I get a dud? Did something happen along the manufacturing line or something? I don't get it. 
If you got this color, I would like to know. Did it turn out the same? I really want to know. But um, yeah, she's much darker. I mean, it's still pretty. I'm still going to wear it. But I would much rather have had it be the color I thought it was going to be. So um, yeah. But you can still see the blonde highlights, which is nice. It's just the contrast isn't quite the same, obviously. Um, and then it's just all blended together so she doesn't have darker roots, which is another thing that the Junkie Highlight Blonde did have was a little bit darker root. But here it's all the same. So it looks almost like a number two or a very dark number four because, you know, that can vary from company to company. Um, so this is just, again, very, very dark. But I do like the blonde highlights. That is what I was expecting. Really pretty. Look at that. Mm. I love the highlights. So the contrast is a little bit harsher. It still goes together, though. So again, I'm not too mad at it. But yeah, I can't explain it. So it is what it is, right? Got to deal with it. I'm not going to send it back and reorder it. I don't want to wait for it. I might reorder her, though, in a different color. I might do that just because the style is so pretty. But moving on with the color, though, the luster is there. I like to talk about the luster with the color because they go hand in hand with one another. And just look at that. Looks like healthy human hair. But yeah, this style. Mm, just love these curls. Oh, they are so gorgeous. And I love this layer right here. That, that just kind of like that curtain effect. It's just so pretty. I like that she's a center part that goes perfectly with this layering effect. Uh, lengthwise, oh boy, let me guess here. 26 inches, I want to say. Maybe even 28. She's long. She's a long girl, yeah. I want to say 28. We're going to go that long. Um, so very, very long. I already talked about the layers. But her volume is not v v v, -v volume It's just a normal type of natural volume for this style. Density is perfect. She does have that um, beautiful body and movement. Just, you know, the bounce. I love to do the bounce just so you can really see what I'm talking about. So she's very lightweight, very free flowing, but the curls, oh, this is a style perfect for date night. You know, you gotta go out on those dates. Even if you're with somebody, married, you still gotta have date nights. This is that hair, this is that hair for like homecoming, prom, something like that too. So she can be very formal, uh, very classy. Obviously me, I just, wear her for every day type of stuff. <laughs> hey, I'm a wig reviewer, I gotta do that. I don't want to just wear the wig and review it, take it off and do, you know, wear another one or review another one the same day. Unless I don't like the wig, then I will. But otherwise, I just wanna get my money's worth and wear her for the day. So I, I still will wear her for every day. But <laughs> for a special occasion, I think that is exactly what she is meant for. Um, and then how she feels, uh, she feels really soft. She does have the Futura fibers, I believe. Yes, 100% premium fiber. Um, I like the Futura fibers. Those are really nice. So, uh, she feels really soft. Um, there's a little silkiness in there, a good degree of coarseness. So she's feeling like real human hair should, because uh, once again, all hair has different degrees of coarseness to it. Uh, no hair is just 100% silky unless it's on a doll. So she's feeling just right, like she should. Um, and I do also think she's multicultural, so she'll work out for every race and ethnicity. Um, and then uh, let me show you what she looks like from the side and the back. <laughs> I'm trying here. I'm trying. All right. This side. The back. The back is so pretty. Oh, she is so pretty draped. I'm debating if I want to wear her like that or not, but I probably won't. Let me just pull it all forward. Simply because she does tangle quite a lot. Unfortunately, that is one downside to her. She tangles. Yeah. I mean, you could already tell when I was trying to, like, 
feel her for you to describe that. I was being really careful here because she tangles. So this is how I kind of comb through her. Um, with styles like, well, with any wig, you should comb from the bottom up. Um, but especially with her, since I just used my fingers, I am just doing this. I'm holding the hair here, kind of gently finger combing the bottom and then let it go and then kind of go through. So that does make it a little bit easier, but she's still not quite low maintenance. I wouldn't put her in that category, even though she doesn't take long to get ready, but you are going to have to keep up with that tangling though you are going to experience quite a bit of that. Shedding though isn't really anything too bad so you know you got a con and then you got a pro right evens out. <laughs> it just depends on which one's more important to you I guess. Um, I already mentioned center part I like that just with the curtain effect here with that layer. Um, the parting space is really deep it says five inches my gosh We've seen wigs over the course of the time that I've been reviewing them, say like six inches deep. What on earth would be six inches then if this is five? I'm just saying, it. this is really deep part. So it goes all the way back here. Um, and the depth, you know, the I'm sorry, the depth is deep and the width isn't bad. Um, I just put like two coats of powder there. I think that's pretty much all I really need. Uh, the lace does blend with most skin tones, as it says, so that was really easy. Even though the lace is just a tad bit darker shaded. Let me grab, grab it here. If you didn't notice that during the um, cap construction, but yeah, it's or the intro or whatever, it is a little bit darker, but that's okay. It was still blendable. Um, baby hair, it says she has natural baby hairs. I really couldn't find many of them. They, they were there. Um, they were there, but they blend more into the hair than anything else. So you got to kind of go searching for them. So what I did was I just created a little bit more of my own baby hair here. So not much, as you can probably already tell, just a little bit there, see, just to where I like it. So you can customize the baby hair, of course, on any unit. Um, so I just thought that that looked a little bit better on me. So that's why I did it. Um, but as far as the hairline is concerned, we've been over this a million times. It's no surprise, but it's still always a surprise, if you know what I mean. She's not really pre-plucked. Not as much as I thought she should be based on them saying it. So if they didn't say it, this is what I would be expecting. So here it is. If this is our idea of pre-plucking, I don't really understand it. But I don't know when these wig companies are ever going to learn. When will they learn? This is not what we want. Um, but yeah, see, it's a little different. I mean, granted, it's, it's the butta lace. And once again, it shows the difference. And it is slightly different, but at the same time, it's still not, it's still not pre-plucked enough. And then obviously here, you got a little bit of lift up, but with it being darker shaded, I don't mind the lift up. It's not standing out. You can see that shape of the edges kind of covers up my own natural ones, except for right here. Thankfully though, my own hair is very, very dark. So it, believe it or not, my own hair is pretty much this. Um, for those who don't know, my father was half Native American, so I ended up getting his hair. And um, thankfully, with this color, it actually blends really well with my own baby hair. So I'm just going to leave it as is. See, some there's some of my own baby hair again. This side, obviously, we have the same thing going on. I didn't glue her down. But for the most part, as far as the shape goes... I think they got it really good. If they just got the plucking down right, she'd be like completely snatched. That's how I feel about it. 100% snatched. But they didn't. So we got to go with what we have. And this, you know, it's not bad. I mean, I still think it's doable. You can still make it pull it up, you know, still pull it off to make it look more realistic. It's not screaming wig or nothing. It's also covered up, but... Still, it's it's the principle of the matter to me. 
and I just wish that they would get the hint. That's all. Uh, she is comfortable to wear. She's got some good stretchability. So I do also think she is larger head friendly. Um, aside from the disappointment with the color, <laughs> she's a good wig. Some might like this color, you know, again, it's still pretty. It's still pretty, but I want the real chunky highlight blonde that I had the last time. <laughs> so who knows? Um, but She's gorgeous. She's she's gorgeous. So the only real true con I have for her is the tangling. So I'm still going to give her thumbs up, though. I just don't think she's one you could wear a whole lot. That's all. But I do recommend her. So get her while you still can. And that is my review and recommendation for Butter Unit 32. I wonder how many more they're going to come out with. I'm going to have like butter unit 152 or something. Who knows? But anyway, uh, that is what I have to say about her. Don't forget to tell me your thoughts down below. Let me know if you do have her, especially if you have her in this color. Or maybe even on the other chunky highlights. Did the same thing happen or not? And also let me know if you decide to go pick her up after watching this review. And hopefully next time my voice will be back to normal. <laughs> but until next time, bye-bye.